What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you've got a broken piece, what do you do? We're gonna have to fix this. So in today's video, we're gonna be fixing this crack right here. We're gonna learn how to replace it without damaging the rest of the other pieces. So before we start, I gotta thank a few of you guys for being my coffee supporters. So Gleemar, you're the first one that came through. Thank you so much. Tyler, thank you very much. Jan from the UK and Kaylee James, also from the UK. Thank you so much. Just got a few coffees in from D from Scotland. So thank you so much for that, I appreciate it. This one just came in from Tracy Dion. So thank you very much for this. For those of you who want to buy me a coffee, I'll link that down below so you can check it out. If you'd like to support me and support this channel, appreciate it, thank you. So the next thing we gotta do is announce the winner from the last video. If you guys remember, I was giving away this entire package here. The glass cutter, the oil, tip cleaner, Another cleaner, and all of this is going to one lucky winner. Okay, so the winner of this entire thing goes to six fee six. Steffi, you are the winner. Hannah, Steffi, you are the winner uh, of this entire package. So congratulations, and thank you to all of you for leaving your comments and being a part of the conversation. So thank you very much uh, for joining in. And I'll keep on doing some more giveaways. Uh, so look for those in the near future. So Steffi, please get in touch with me and DM or email and I'll send out all this stuff to you. Congrats. Last thing I like to mention is that I launched an online store. We officially now have stained glass DIY merch. I placed an order myself and I'll be doing a review of those pretty soon. So check out the merch if you'd like. Link is down below. All right, that's it. Let's get to work and fix this project. So we're talking about this piece. You can see this crack right here. It's pretty much fallen off already. Ouch. You can see it kind of I mean, I can just pull it off right now. So what we gotta do is remove this first. We're gonna try to heat it up on the sides um, just to pry it out uh, without pulling off the rest of the copper foil that's connected to these two other pieces. And really, I mean, it should be straightforward. It's one little single piece. I'm just sad that we're gonna have to get rid of that nice rounded top. It's kinda cool, so we'll try to keep that maybe for later, maybe for some other pieces. What I am going to do first though, is pretty much remove this piece. So let's try to do that now. So we just got to pull it off of the adhesive. And try to heat that up. Get it soft and then we could try to pry it. Good stuff there. So already, it's lifted. Now it's just not really being held on by anything. I'm gonna to try to pull this off now. Looks like it can just come off. Okay. Oh, ripped that part. So there's that old copper foil there. We're gonna to have to try to remove. Still got our piece, we'll save that. Let's pull that. I'm using an X-Acto knife to kind of help it. Okay, let's take a pause, take a look at what we're doing. As you can see that foil is just lifting off. I was pulling it up with the pliers as I'm getting the soldering iron right underneath it. And uh, as it melts, you're able to lift off the foil. Seems to be working, so we'll continue that halfway to go. Hey, so I gotta give a shout out to some of these YouTubers that I watched their videos on this subject on how to fix your broken stained glass. First one for sure was Lady Burrs. She has a great video on this. Also, of course, Gom Stained Glass. We've got Dichroic Glassman, and finally Samantha Calder. So all those videos helped me learn how to do this. So I'll leave the links to those videos for you guys so you can check them out. And you can go see their full videos if you'd like to learn some more. Yes. So there's that, and yeah, pretty much the back side just needs to be smoothed out, kind of even it out there, and then uh, add that new piece. You can see this rounded edge right here, that folded part. So I only have this much left from this glass, and that is not enough to make a new one. So I'm going back to my old design, something like this, where you have the little notch 
just one little straight piece but with a notch and that should be pretty easy to make so we'll go with that for the new piece so that piece can go there Okay, we're gonna foil this real quick. All right, we'll get this soldered up again. Whoa, big splat there. I think I'm good with it. Let's go wash it. So we'll clean everything with CJ's flux remover. Now let's get to the polishing. So that went pretty well and everything looks as good as new. If you guys like this one, give me a thumbs up and let me know. I'll be doing some more live streams, so be sure to turn on that notification so you'll know when we go live. That's it for me guys, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.